and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind A Crafty Concept. On this channel, I provide free crochet patterns for crochet business owners so they can make them and sell them in their online shops, in-person markets, brick and mortars, and everything in between. Not only are you permitted to sell the finished pieces you make from A Crafty Concept patterns, you are also encouraged. I want my patterns to help you grow the business of your dreams. So if you like free crochet patterns and if you like crochet business, business tips to help you start and grow your crochet business, you are in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to show up for the month of July, get more sales, get more follows, get more eyes on your Etsy shops, all the things for the month of July. We will be getting all of the information for this video inside of the 2023 content calendar. This is a free resource that you can get if you go to acraftyconcept.com forward slash content calendar, or you can get the paid version, which is the printed right here that I have from Amazon, and we will link to that down below if you are a pen and paper kind of gal. We will be on page 44 looking at the month of July, and I'm going to go through it digitally. I think it's just a little bit easier to see, but if you want to do it with your paper calendar, we're on page 44. I'm gonna talk about how you can show up this month, how you can market your products to serve your specific ideal customer for the month of July. I'm gonna give you a bunch of pattern suggestions if you're struggling to think of things that you should make and sell in the month of July. I'm gonna give you a bunch of ideas for how to post on social media throughout the month of July. So if you have a crochet business or are trying to start a crochet business, stay very tuned, grab a notebook and a pencil and get ready to take some notes if you do have the printed version of the calendar you can use page 46 to take your notes. It is just a blank page. But if you don't, just grab a piece of notebook paper and get ready to take some notes and then get ready to take some action after you watch this video and actually do some of the things that I've suggested. Knowledge without action is a waste of time. I do not ever want to waste your time. Messy action is better than no action. So just get started today after this video and do something that you learned here in the video today. That will help your business skyrocket and will help you as the business owner to reach your ideal level of success. Okay, let's hop on over to my computer and start learning how to show up for the month of July so you can start getting some more sales in your crochet business. 2023 content calendar. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we get to July. Perfect. Now let's take a look starting up here at the trends. Summertime is in full swing. Folks are playing outside and enjoying the nice weather. Then we have content ideas. How can your business or products help folks focus on outdoor activities, grilling and picnic ideas, parties, and 4th of July? So for example, if you sell Gracie dolls in your shop, try adding bathing suits and pool floaties as an option. Both patterns are free and linked under pattern suggestions. Do you have a bestseller? Make it in red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. Then we have a bonus content idea that says reusable water balloons and popsicle holders are a great make for the summertime. I actually have a summer roundup already on my blog with things that you can crochet for kids during the summertime and both reusable water balloons and popsicle holders are on that blog post. I will link it for you in the description below. Now let's look at the pattern suggestions for the month of July. We have the Gracie doll swimsuit, which we've already talked about, and the flamingo pool floaty. The flamingo pool floaty, ooh, that's hard to say, is a really fun way to get creative and festive, like summery festive, with your amigurumi makes. So if you sell amigurumi bumblebees, you could make a pool floaty to set your bumblebee in. If you sell dolls, if you sell animals, even if you sell like loveys, you could probably pop them through the pool floaty and let their little arms hang out the top to make it more festive and fun. They're also really cute photo props to have like in the corner of your picture or to have in the background while you're doing like a face to camera video. I love these pool floaties. You can also make a swan pool floaty if you used white yarn and you could make a duck pool floaty if you use yellow yarn and didn't crochet the neck so long. Those are different ways that you could use the same pattern. Then we have the crafty rainbow pillow. Everybody loves bright, beautiful colors in the summertime. The crafty pineapple pillow. What is more summery than pineapples? Crafty pineapple wall hanger if you're looking for some wall decor. If your ideal customer is shopping with you for home decor, specifically right now summer home decor, the crafty pineapple wall 
wall hanger or any of these pillows could be really super fun for them. We also have the Crafty Watermelon Pillow, the Crafty Watermelon Rattle. If you sell baby things, you can say your baby might be too small to enjoy a fresh ripe watermelon this summer. Now they have their own watermelon so they can still take part of the festive fruits for the summertime. Then we have the Crafty Watermelon Wall Hanger, the lemon pillow. I love this pattern because you could also make it a lime, an orange, or even a grape fruit just by changing the colors. Crafty boho earrings, crafty loop earrings, and crafty rainbow earrings. Statement earrings are so much fun for the summer. Everybody is tan. Everybody is living their best life, going to the beach, going to festivals, going to ride on the Ferris wheel. Having fun festive earrings is summer to me. In my mind, that is just summer. So these three patterns are super great for fun festive statement earrings for the summertime. We also have the Amigurumi surfboard pattern that was guest posted by my friend Donna of 3AM Grace Designs. Baby sea animals that was guest posted. Cookout appliques that was guest posted. The fun thing about appliques is you can put them on anything. You can put them on a blue jean vest. You can put them on a canvas tote bag. You can put them on a backpack, a crocheted backpack. You can put them on anything. So definitely check out the cookout app leaks that were guest posted. And then we have the shark backpack, which is really fun for specifically for little boys because when they wear it, they now have a shark fin. So they get to be sharks themselves. Then we have this month's action step. It said things may still be pretty slow this month, but starting next month, it's going to pick up again and then it's going to explode by fall. Spend some time this month nailing down your shop's color palette. If you try to make all the things in all the colors, you're going to give people too many options and you're not going to attract your ideal customer. Narrow down to five to 10 colors that look well together and use those to promote your winter and fall makes this fall. And then we have the up next section to give you a little snippet into what's going to be happening in August. Next month, folks are going to start preparing for going back to school. Start making school-themed things now so you can promote them starting at the beginning of the month and have some ready-to-ship options like the Crafty Pencil Pillow. We are also creating the Crafty Pencil Backpack. It will be available in the month of July. And we have the Pencil Gift Pocket. So if you like pencil things we've got you covered here at a crafty concept let's go ahead and scroll down and look at the next section which is everybody's favorite section the actual calendar full of holidays and social media holidays and all of the things first i want to point out that there is a note section down here where you can write down anything that comes to your mind and you have your monthly tracker over here too where you can watch your growth of your business over the months and there is also a full blank sheet on the next page if you want to jot down or break brainstorm any of the things we're chit-chatting about. Okay, we're going to start over here. July 1st, International Joke Day. Well, looks like July is trying to act like April and thinks it can be an April Fool's in July, but it doesn't matter because I love jokes, so I will definitely be partaking in International Joke Day if I can remember. It's also Canada Day, so very exciting for all of our Canadian friends watching right now. July 4th is Independence Day here in America. Red, white, and blue, stars and stripes, all of the things happening on this day. Take a picture of yourself and your family in your red, white, and blue attire at your fireworks show in your town. Post pictures of your red, white, and blue makes. I have a very fun red, white, and blue themed reel that I will be posting that I have created with seven other amazing designers Instagram. It's probably already live by the time you're watching this video, so I will link it down below so you can watch it if you have missed it. July 5th is National Bikini Day. I have something up my sleeve for this day for my own Instagram posts, but you could also post pictures of your dolls in bikinis if you crochet dolls. Maybe you crochet bumblebees and you create like a little bikini to go around it. Maybe you make baskets and you crochet a little bikini top to go around it. Maybe you sell uh, glass bottle cozies and you have the kinds that look like they have like a lady's chest and a bikini over it. National Bikini Day can be super fun even if you don't want to share a picture of yourself in a bikini. Hashtag I feel that. July 7th is World Chocolate Day. If you love chocolate, 
Talk about it on July 7th. If you don't like chocolate, talk about it on July 7th. I personally do not like chocolate. That's always a good conversation starter. People love to engage with me and and because they think it's very weird that I don't like chocolate. And it is weird. Most people, especially women, like chocolate. When I was little, my mom told me I was allergic to chocolate, so I didn't eat it, and now I don't like it. I like very few chocolatey things like cookies and cream ice cream and no-bake cookies. But that is about it. But that is a great day to create engagement with your audience. Ask your people, do they like chocolate? Do they not like chocolate? Ask your people, what's their favorite chocolate treat? Ask your people, what's their favorite thing to make with chocolate or buy with chocolate if they would prefer to go buy it from a store instead of make it themselves? It's a very easy way to start talking about your idle customer. You can say, Ashley, what does that have to do with my business? It depends on your business. Maybe you sell mug rugs and you can post a picture of an iced chocolate latte sitting on your mug rug and talk about how much you love iced chocolate lattes in the summertime help cool you down. Maybe you sell baskets and you put a tea towel in your basket and fill it up with chocolate brownies and you say today is World Chocolate Day. I made these brownies using my grandmother's recipe from scratch. We love them. Do you like chocolate? Do you have a a grandmother that gave you a brownie recipe? You can apply these things to your business in any way. You just need to think outside of the box a little bit. Maybe you post a picture of a Gracie doll and you set like a brownie on her lap and then kind of put brown eyeshadow around her mouth to look like she had been eating chocolate and it's all over her face. Maybe you just post a meme of a little child with chocolate all over their face and you say something funny. It's just a fun way to get engagement and to interact with your audience and you can sneak in little bits of your business Like with the basket full of brownies, you're not saying, hey, go buy my basket. You're talking about a brownie recipe that your grandmother gave you, but your basket that you sell is in the picture. The 10th is National Pina Colada Day. If that is fun for you, your business, and your brand, that is a fun day to celebrate. National French Fry Day is on the 13th. I know that my friend Lauren has French fry, a French fry pattern in her Crochet Cafe book because I have that book and I have made the French fries before. So I will put a link to her book down below. Other ways that you can celebrate National French Fry Day. Maybe you sell kitchen towels and you post a picture of you making your own handmade french fries and you've got your towel in the shot or you use your towel to take the something from the stove to the sink you know what i mean just sneaking it in there a little bit if you if you sell gracie dolls take a picture of your gracie doll with a to-go box of french fries from mcdonald's the 16th is national ice cream day i do love me some ice cream i also have an ice cream sticker. Maybe I should make it go a little bit on sale for National Ice Cream Day. I will put a link to my sticker down below and I will try to remember to put it on sale on July 16th. Maybe you sell little ice cream keychains or ice cream baby rattles. Maybe you don't sell ice cream at all, but you still want to talk about your favorite ice cream or your least favorite ice cream or any type of ice cream story you might have. Maybe you have a story where you took your kid to go buy ice cream and it fell on the floor and then a nice stranger replaced it for you. Whatever you have, people love stories. That's how they can connect with you. That's how they can get to know you better. Maybe you have a t-shirt that has ice cream on it and you post a picture of yourself and you say, today's national ice cream day I thought it was a great day to show you my ice cream t-shirt and give you three facts about me that you might not know maybe you are dairy intolerant and you cannot have ice cream so you get deli bars from Dairy Queen or maybe since you can't have dairy you eat popsicles and you promote your popsicle cozies in that picture All kinds of ways to get creative with national ice cream day world emoji day is on the 17th super easy today's world emoji day post your top three favorite emojis in the comments below Boom. Easiest thing ever. Maybe for this picture, you have a picture of something that you sell and it's a little bit blurry and then you put three emojis right in the middle. Something like that. It does not have to be the best thing you've ever created, but it is a great way to get engagement on your Instagram, which will help the Instagram algorithm show your stuff to more people in the future and then maybe lead to more sales from a different, more sales specific post in the future. The 19th is National Hot Dog Day. We do have a hot dog applique 
pattern. It's part of the cookout at Blake's we talked about earlier. That is on the blog. You could put it on anything you can think of. You can glue it. You can sew it. You can iron it depending upon the type of backing that you have. So get creative with National Hot Dog Day. You can also just use one as a photo prop. You could talk about your favorite type of hot dog, your least favorite type of hot dog. Or if you're a hot dog or a hamburger gal, you could talk about when your family always has hot dogs. You can talk about roasting hot dogs over a fireplace. Maybe you sell dinosaur backpacks and you post a picture of your kid roasting a hot dog over a fire with their dinosaur backpack at their feet because it's full of all of their camping toys that they needed, right? Something like that. It's very easy to get creative. Just think outside of the box. I know that you can do it. Then the 20th is Get to Know Your Customers Day. We have these all throughout the year. This is a great day to say, hey, today is Get to Know Your Customers Day. I'd love to know something about you. And then give them a very specific prompt that is easy to answer. Do you like hot dogs? Do you prefer hot dogs or hamburgers? Make it business specific. Maybe you sell Claire Cozies and you have a brand built around coffee. Ask your customers if they prefer iced or hot coffee. Ask them how many cups of coffee they drink throughout the day. Maybe ask them both of those questions. Give them things that are easy to answer. Another way to get engagement is to give them a prompt that will ask you for their opinion. People love to give their opinion. They love to give their advice. So you could say, today's Get to Know Your Customers Day. I am starting a new journey to cutting out all of the toxins in my life. If any of you guys live toxin-free, and maybe post a picture of your crafty facial rounds, right? Even though they're not toxin-free because they're made with polyester. So maybe do an, an organic cotton facial, facial round, and you say that you're using those instead of disposable baby wipe type face removers because you could put your own toxin-free juices on it, or you can just use it with water, whatever you want to say, and then ask them for their advice. Was what, If you've lived toxin-free, what was your favorite swap? Or if you want to go toxin-free, what's the first thing you'd put out? Just try to ask for their advice or ask for their opinion in a way that makes sense for what you sell in your business. So it can all tie together nicely in a neat little bow. July 24th is National Cousins Day. I'm coming up blank on ways to celebrate that one. Maybe your cousin has a small business and you say, today's National Cousins Day. This is my cousin, Rebecca. She sells candles. Go check her out. That would be something you could easily do. Maybe you say how you didn't have any siblings, but you loved playing with your cousins when you were little. And that's why you started selling Gracie dolls because you played dolls with your cousins and it was one of your best memories. Something like that. If it makes sense for your business to celebrate National Cousins Day, National Lipstick Day is on the 29th. I immediately thought of my friend Donna of 3AM Grace Designs. She has a lipstick pillow pattern. I will link below for you guys. Maybe you built a brand around makeup. And you could talk about National Lipstick Day, your favorite type of lipstick, your DIY non-toxic lipstick. I literally just bought non-toxic lip balm. Should be in here. I can't find it. Yesterday. Came in the mail yesterday. And it is from something I can't even remember. Pri primer, primarily pure. I, I don't remember. I'll pop a picture on the screen for you. But I just bought this that's supposed to be non-toxic tinted lip balm. We sell crafty facial rounds, taking a video of you removing your lipstick with your crafty facial rounds on National Lipstick Day. If you sell crafty facial rounds, maybe you put on some red lipstick, kiss your crafty facial round so it has like a lip print and then take a picture of it and say how it's good for removing makeup. All kinds of fun ways to celebrate National Lipstick Day. Maybe you sell Claire Cozies and you've got a picture of a cup with your Claire Cozy on it up next to your mouth, but you've got red lipstick on and you're smiling, right? That's a good way to say it's National Lipstick Day, but you also are posting a picture of your Claire Cozy. If you sell Gracie dolls, you could say it's National Lipstick Day and then show a picture of three Gracie dolls that have three different lip colors. Anything like that. You could show your daughter sitting next to you playing with pretend lipstick while you're working and talk about how it is to juggle mom life with entrepreneur life. Maybe you have a story of how you were working and your three-year-old daughter was being very quiet so you got up to go check and there she was covered in lipstick from head to toe and you got a picture of it or a video and you're sharing that on National Lipstick Day but in the caption you're talking about the difficulties of juggling being a mom and an entrepreneur. Lots of creative ways to celebrate National Lipstick Day. And then up here at the top, we start back at the end of the month. So we ran out of, you know what I mean? Just whoop. National Day of Friendship, a great day to 
talk about your friends, whether they're internet friends or in-person friends. Maybe you have a friend that watches your kid once a week, so you're able to get more work done. Maybe your internet friends are your closest friends in your whole life, and you met them through the crochet community, and they mean everything to you. For me specifically, the friends that I made in this crochet community helped pull me out of my postpartum depression back in 2018. So that's a very special story that I have that tells the importance of friendship on National French International Friendship Day. And then the 31st is National Avocado Day. I have an avocado sticker. I also have a thought in the back of my mind for an avocado gift pocket. So hold me accountable for that and I will try to get it out to you guys by National Avocado Day so we can celebrate together. Okay, other things we've got going on this month is the It's UV Safety Month, Gotta Stay Safe, National Recreation and Parks Month, National Picnic Month, very easy to celebrate National Picnic Month if you sell amigurumi food. You could take all of your amigurumi food on a little picnic outside and take all kinds of pictures. Maybe you could make amigurumi food picnic stop motion cartoony type things. That could be really fun for your people. National Grilling Month. The cookout applique pattern set on my blog is a great way to celebrate National Grilling Month. National Ice Cream Month. What a coincidence because it's also Ice Cream Day this month. Independent Realtor Month. Like house realtors, I guess. National Culinary Arts Month. National Anti-Boredom Month. This would be a very good one for all of us to promote because one, crochet keeps us from being bored, yes. Two, if any of you have kids during the summer when they're normally in school, we have to keep them from being bored. So you could Post about how you're doing that this month to keep your kids from being bored, but also keeping their minds fresh and helping them stay entertained throughout the summer and some tips and tricks that you have and then asking for advice for tips and tricks from other moms because they will tell you their advice all day long. National Peach Month. I was just thinking of the Peaches song from the Super Mario Brothers video that went out in theaters uh, just a couple months ago. That would be perfect. Kids love that song. If you sell Amigurumi Peaches... Perfect time to talk about National Peach Month. Perfect time to talk about your peaches. You could make a time-lapse video of you crocheting your peach to the song Peaches from the Super Mario Brothers. Super fun, super easy, great way to stay relevant and also seasonally appropriate. National Blueberry Month, same stuff for the peaches, but in blueberry. Also, I think there's some peach, the big old peach crochet pillows that could be fun. There is a purse pattern on my blog that was guest posted, and I believe it's supposed to resemble little peaches. It also kind of looks like little pumpkins to me, so it could go either way. But for this month, we could say they're peaches, and you could promote little peach purses to your ideal customer. I will put a link to that down below. And then last is World Watercolor Month. That's really pretty. Maybe you you celebrate World Watercolor Month by making 20 handmade watercolor thank you cards. And then the first 20 orders after you finish your cards gets one in their package, right? Maybe you and your children make thank you cards using watercolors because it's World Watercolor Month. So you're, you let your kids plop some watercolor blobs on watercolor paper. You cut them up. You write thank you very pretty in the middle or even print them off, right? Maybe you print the words thank you on your kids art that they made for you or you could even use a stamp and then say that's how we're celebrating World Watercolor Month. You can also video you and your kids making these thank you cards and you're going to get more content. People are going to be very emotionally engaged and they are going to want one in their order because they watch your kids make them and they watched you make them and they saw the whole thing and they're involved. They're emotionally invested in the situation. So that is something that you could absolutely do to, to get more sales and to have fun with your kids and to help keep them not being bored, which we already talked about, anti-boredom month. All kinds of good things here with World Watercolor Month. Okay, scrolling on down, we have the pattern content ideas page. Click any pick to be taken directly to that pattern. So if I click on it, it's going to take me straight to the pattern. Ta-da! If you're looking at it on a piece of paper, you can scan down here this QR code. It will take you to the digital version of this page only, and then you can click on whichever pattern that you want to go directly to on my blog. These are all free crochet patterns that you can check out for the month of July. We've got clear cozies, which we talked about a lot throughout this video. Rainbow rattles. We talked about the watermelon rattle, but here is also the rainbow rattle. Fun summer baby toy for the month of July. 
We have the Bitty Boho Bib. You could make these in fun summery colors or just keep them in your color palette and put them on a baby that is celebrating summertime. Maybe she's wearing it on the beach while she's having some yogurt. Maybe she's wearing it for a summer themed cake smash with like pool flamingo floaties all over the place. Something fun like that. Pineapple plant cozies. Perfect for turning your little succulents to look like little pineapples. This one was guest posted. Very fun. Works up very fast. This would be great for taking to markets. People love plants. Fake plants, real plants, crocheted plants, it doesn't matter. This would be a super fun one. The rainbow bag variation of the Bitty Boho bag that was guest posted by my friend Stephanie of Eat, Pray, and Crochet. That is super cute for little girls, especially during the summertime while they're in their little summer dresses and just having a good time outside. They can put their little treasures that they find in there like flowers or rocks or whatever's important to them. Same goes for the Bitty Boho bag. It's just like this one, but it's flipped the other way in the fringe and in the opening. It's, it's cute. It's perfect for little kiddos. These also do well at market because kids get to be like mommy and carry their cash to go buy something at a, at a somebody's booth, right? That would be a fun way to promote them at markets. This little bow headband works up in like under five minutes. It's made on the Addy 22 needle. Very fun, very quick, a great way to crank out product for markets if you're going to them. This would also make a fun freebie to give to your audience because you could use scrap yarn and these nylon headbands are very affordable and you could give that out as a freebie if your person bought say a bitty boho bag or a dinosaur backpack. You can give them the matching headband or a bitty boho bib. That would be perfect. Give them a fun headband. It doesn't have to match. You can use your scrap yarn for that. That would just be a fun thank you gift that you can crank out and also sell them. Then we have the dinosaur backpack. I have a ton of backpack patterns on my blog. We have the dinosaur backpack, the shark backpack, the witch backpack, which we're going to talk about when it gets closer to Halloween. The USA backpack that just went live. The pencil backpack that's going live very soon. We also have a backpack bundle where you can purchase all of the backpack patterns in my Etsy shop linked down below. All of your backpack needs are covered here at A Crafty Concept, but these are super fun for kiddos because they get to have little dinosaur spikes on their back. We have the watermelon wall hanger. This is really fun as a summer home decor piece. Maybe you could market it as good for a wreath to go on the front door. I've also seen people put wall hangers or macrame pieces next to a shelf where the shelf has cute stuff on it, but then the wall hanger is up behind the shelf. Very cute. These also are super fun photo props. If your ideal customer is maybe doing baby photo shoots. Maybe they do a photo shoot where the baby is eating a bunch of watermelon and then has the watermelon wall hanger behind them. That would be absolutely precious. Then we have the boho pillow. It's the perfect summery pop of color. You can make these in any color combinations. You can also change the fringe if you wanted to. This one has the pom-pom fringe, which I think is great for summer, but you could do tassels to make it more boho. You could do a big old ruffle to make it a little bit more girly. The world is your oyster. Then the rainbow plant coaster. This is a great way to put a pop of color in a space that has plants. So if your ideal customer has a lot of plants in their home, live plants, this coaster is good for catching the water that might fall once they go to water their plant. Oh my gosh, I just thought of the, I just wet my plants phrase. That's very cute. You could also use this as a place setting like a placemat for your dining room table could be really fun and pretty. Get creative with the types of colors that you use in your rainbow. You could choose a color palette that makes sense for you and your business and your brand that your ideal customer would be attracted to. And last but not least, we have the essential oil roller keychain. This was designed to fit essential oil rollers, but this can fit all sorts of things. Whatever your ideal customer is carrying with them throughout the summer that they need to have quick reach to, they could you could market this keychain to them. Maybe they use a bug repellent roller, like suggested here, for essential oils, but it could also hold nail clippers, lighters, lipstick, chapstick, a little, probably a little face sunblock container. Make yourself one of these and then go around your house and see what fits in there and see how you can market them specifically to your ideal customer. 
That's it for the month of July. I hope you got some really good ideas and are excited to show up and serve your ideal customer well all month long. If you need another resource to help you organize and plan your content, I would like to introduce you to the Crafty Planner. These are available in my Amazon shop linked below. They are $12.99. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you get free shipping. Each one of these is for a quarter. We'll need four of them for the year. You get daily to-do pages. So we have this spot in the top for your top three most important things that you need to do this day. A spot over here for your calendar, like appointments or pick up so-and-so after school, whatever it is that you have to do. A water tracker to help you stay hydrated. You can color in those little water drops whenever you drink water. How much each drop counts for is up to you. You can choose that. A spot for you to write what you are grateful for. Practicing gratefulness is very good for your mental health. It's good for stress, anxiety, and depression. If you struggle with any of those things, practicing gratefulness can really help you with that. Then we have the your to-do list for the day. And I've already put three things on there. Etsy, email, and Instagram. These are three things that I do every single day. I check my Etsy. I check my email. I post on Instagram. So those are already filled in on all of the day things. They're not on the weekends. If you don't want to do those, just cross them off. Go ahead and check one off. You're already starting on the right foot. And then down here at the bottom, we have an I am feeling section where you can kind of keep track of your mood to help if you are struggling with things like depression or anxiety. Keeping track of your mood can be helpful when talking to your care providers. I designed this book specifically for myself. Everything in here is to help me specifically, and I wanted to share it with you just in case the things that help me can also help you. There are multiple designs in my Amazon shop, and some of them have different innards. So if there's a specific one that you would like to see the innards for, let me know. These three have the same innards. Also have this one, Work Hard and Crochet More. It also has the same innards, but there are a few older ones that have different sheets. You can check these out via the link down below and help you start showing up and staying organized in your crochet business. Don't forget to go to a craftyconcept.com forward slash content calendar to grab your free PDF of the 2023 content calendar. There's a lot of good information in there to help you show up for the rest of the year. We still have like six months left, including July. So don't slow down now. We are halfway through the year. Go ahead and pick up momentum and start serving the living daylights out of your ideal customer so you can watch your sales explode and watch your business grow so you, the business owner, can reach your ideal level of success. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. Let me know in the comments what you learned and what you are going to apply today so you can take action and start changing your business for the good. I'm so grateful for you. You got immense value from this video. You have a wonderful day, a great rest of your week, and we'll see you in the next video.